Hi, this is Eric Bryant, eLearning System Administrator at Lynn Benton Community College. And I want to do a short video here to show you how to properly reset your course at the end of a term. And this will allow all of your gradable items to move forward based on the new date. Uh, this was just a demo course that was last run last spring term. And let's proceed with resetting. So under the administration block, look for the reset link and click that link. Now today is the first day of uh, spring term 2017 and it's auto populated the date, today's date in this course start page. If it didn't have today's date in it, you could click the enable button and set it to the first day of the term, which is the 3rd of April 2017. The other thing I like to do is expand all in the upper right hand corner and that helps me not forget anything that I need to reset. So I'll just go through this course. Your course may vary depending on what activities and resources you have. Just go ahead and go through there and make your selections. I'll point out here in the gradebook section that you want to delete all grades you don't want to delete all items and categories because that will affect how your gradebook structure is set up. You don't want to lose that structure. You won't lose the items, you'll just lose the grade from the students from the previous term. Okay, you can delete all forum posts and any glossaries that you may want. Another area here is quizzes. Pay attention to that. You want to delete all quiz attempts user overrides or group overrides. That way, if a student re-enrolls in the same class, their quizzes won't already have grades. So you want to delete those attempts. Another item that you want to pay attention to here is the Turnitin assignments. Go ahead and make a copy. This is the default that pops up from the drop-down list. And then on assignments, go ahead and delete all assignments as well. Go ahead and click on Reset Course should take just a moment here with Moodle to perform that operation and that will provide a summary page here. Here we go. So one of the things you want to check is under the general area make sure the date is changed and you get an OK. Forums, if those are gradable, the dates have changed. Just go ahead and take a quick look through here. Quizzes, Yep, open quiz, close dates were updated, that's good. Assignments, the dates have changed, that's great. There were several assignments in this course. Looks okay. Let's go ahead and click continue. And then just another quick set before I open this course up to students. Uh, quick check would be to go, if you have the activities block enabled, go ahead and click on that. This is a great way to make sure that all your quizzes are ready to roll for the current term. Great, so here's all the quizzes and now you can see on the quizzes close date all the dates have been moved forward to 2017. Great, if you happen to notice that you went through the reset process and your dates for your gradable items did not move forward that's probably because you've already changed the course start date in the edit settings for the course. I'll show you where that is here. So again under administration, if you click on edit settings, this is where you're going to make the course available to students right here. Also where you're going to enter the CRN for the current term and that will auto enroll your students but if you happen to find that the dates are not moving forward, it may be because you've previously moved this date forward and didn't move the date forward with the reset process. And you can fix that easily yourself if you go ahead and change these dates to the previous term, save changes at the bottom, and then follow the reset process I already outlined. If you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call at Media Services. Thank you and have a great term.